Hello everyone, this is Maxter, and today I want to make a video, a really quick one, showing you how you can record a podcast from any computer. And that means anything running uh, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux, basically. As long as it, it uh, even a Chromebook, actually. Just any sort of traditional computer. I don't think this works on phones and tablets, but as long as you can run the desktop Google uh, Chrome web browser, then you can record podcasts with this tool and get them hosted. So you don't need Skype, you don't need um, any you know plugins or any fancy stuff. It's really simple. So I'm going to show you this. So this is Cast. Um, and this is not a sponsor thing, by the way. I use Cast for a series I do called Behind the Mod, um, if you've heard of that, uh, or if you're coming to my channel for the first time. It's a podcast I do, and I'm able to really easily record with Cast. Um, and the great thing about this is, you know, it's easy enough to record yourself talking, I mean, you don't need a tool for that. You might, in which case you can use this too. But um, it's great, especially if you have guests on or if you do a podcast with multiple people over the internet. Um, this is amazing. So what, what it's going to do is in your web browser, it runs, right? Uh, it records your audio and you send people a link. They don't need to sign up. They literally just click the link. If they open it in Google Chrome, they will be able to really easily just join your podcast. All I have to do is, you know, configure what's their mic, what's their uh, output, you know, speakers, headphones. I recommend you wear headphones and have everyone on your podcast wear headphones. Makes, you know, echo a lot better. Um, but it'll be, it's really easy. Um, and it, what it does is it lets, it lets you edit it right in the web browser. It has a built-in editor. But if you want to download it yourself and edit it yourself, you can do that and then you can re-upload it because they also host your podcast. And now this is a paid service, but they do have a free trial, so you can try it out. Uh, I find it if it's worth paying for if you really want to do a podcast, and th this is a really easy way to do it. And it gives you individual audio tracks too, so you can edit you know, each person as their own audio track. You can have up to four people, um, which I've never really run into that limit because I've, I never have had four, more than four people on. Uh, if you do, maybe this isn't for you, but um, I think you can record for up to three hours at a time. And the $10 a month plan I find works best most of the time. It gives you unlimited everything. You just get 10 hours of recording time a month. So unless you have like a daily podcast, this should be fine for you. And if you do, and if you're like really into it, then you can get pro. But I think hobby is going to be fine for most people. And you can totally just try the free trial. I did when I first tried it. And it works really well. So I have an account already. So I'm just going to sign in. Um, just log in here. And so yeah, this is what it looks like. We get a studio, an editor, and a publisher because... This lets you publish an RSS feed. And what that means is you'll be able to easily get your podcast on Google Play and iTunes. So this is the studio. Uh, and this is where you're going to record the podcast. We're going to click that. Um, and here we can just configure our mic, right? Really easy. And our output. Um, input output for your audio. So you just tell it what you want to use. This is what every guest gets when they join the link. Then you can name the session. We're just going to name this test session, right? Um, and then we can we have this link that we can give to people. You can just copy that like that, and then just send it to anyone, any of your friends. Um, just send it to them. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have anyone, uh, any test subjects willing to try it out with me. But as you can see, as I'm talking, it gives me this nice little status indicator, and it'll do that for guests. They'll show up here too once they click this link. And you can mute yourself. And now I'm not going to be heard in the podcast. And you can even do this uh, raise your hand functionality, which doesn't do anything in the audio. But while you're recording, say, you know, someone else is talking and you just want to give them a heads up that you want to talk, you do that. And it's a nice silent way to bring attention to yourself. And then you have this nice little messaging system in here. So you can actually do show notes and stuff inside of it, like a show note, uh, note at o o o. I I made a goof. And then you can know that for future editing. And then you can send messages to other people. Um, show notes are just things that other people can't see, but you can send a message, say, hey, non-existent guest, how is it going? And then they can reply, or they could if I wasn't, you know, alone. Um, yeah, so we're going to just start recording. This is just a test session. And as you can see, I'm recording. It's uploading my audio as I speak, streaming it to the cloud. Um, and it does it really fast. So I'm just talking, talking, talking. And this little progress bar indicates how much uh, what it's uploading and so i'm talking 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 uh and then when i'm done i just click stop recording it stops over everyone it's all synced up it's finalizing the upload so it'll let you know once it's uploaded it is now because it says edit this session so right away we can go and edit this session 
and it's going to put us into the editor here. And we can actually play. As you can see, nice high quality audio, it's recorded there. And you can imagine what it would look like if you had more guests. They'd just be their own tracks below this in this kind of nice interface. And I don't really like this editor. I like to use Adobe Edition or just Final Cut um, inside of that. Uh, but if, if if you don't have another editor to use, this works perfectly fine, really. Uh, and you can just publish like this. Uh, and you can even download a mix, um, which will just apply some nice um, audio effects to it automatically. And then you can just save and mix that, and that'll let you um, save that. So you you mix, and then you can just also just save it normally. And so when you're ready to publish it, you can do so at the publisher. Um, boy, I gotta go back here, back to the editor. We have to mix this. So let's save this as test mix. And we're gonna mix it down. So now it's mixed, uh, and it'll let you know when it mixes. That takes a bit of time though. So let's just open a new tab, because yeah. Um, say you don't want to do that. Say you want to download the audio tracks for yourself. That's fine too. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, or scroll down to wherever your thing shows up. I have a lot of things that are recorded. But um, it's going to show this thing here, right? Um, show notes, you can download those. You can download the audio tracks, and you can upload the audio tracks once you've edited them um, into like one file. So I'm going to download the audio tracks. And in this case, it's just going to be one track because it was just me talking. But say there were multiple people talking, then there would be multiple audio tracks. There would be an audio track for you and an audio track for each one of your guests. And it's going to prepare the download. This takes a bit of time too. Um, as you can see, this mix is complete too, and I can download that. Or I can just publish it right away. And the way, oh, there we go. There's my audio track. And so I can just, it's right there on my desktop. I can just throw that in my editor of choice and deal with it and then re-upload it. Um, you will want to mix all of your multiple audio tracks into one audio track if you're going to go this route because you just upload you know, one audio track back to it, your final mix. Um, or you can just use the built-in editor, which works well too. So once we have our mix uploaded or we've done it using the built-in editor, we're going to go to Publisher and we're going to click Choose a Mix. So this is the test session. And we can choose the public URL. That just means the download, like the file name, because um, this hosts it for you. That's nice. Um, so we have test session over here. So we press this, and we're going to publish it. And that doesn't mean it's available yet. We need to make an RSS feed. I already have one, but you can create a new one. Um, you, you could. if um, This plan only lets you have one, which is fine for most people, unless you have multiple podcasts. But I have this behind the mod feed, which I have for all my episodes. And as you can see, I didn't, I can edit the episode details, I can edit the title, uh, I can edit descriptions, I can do all sorts of great stuff like that. And you can even um, you can even set episodes to be scheduled, just like on YouTube. If you've uploaded a video, you can schedule it so that it'll release at a certain time. And here's the really awesome thing. You get the cassettes. And cassettes, you have to go to edit cassette settings. Um, first, you want to edit your feed stuff, right? So you add a title to your feed. That's like your podcast feed that all your episodes go into. Um, and then there's a bunch of data there, like who owns the feed, description. You can enter that for yourself. And of course, you can upload an image, which like I've done. Um, so edit cassette settings. This is cool. Um, your cassette is like a website it makes for your podcast so that you can easily share it with friends um, without having to set an iTunes or a Google Play link. So let's look at a cassette. And this is like a preview of it. And you can, so a cassette will look like, um, let's copy this. It'll look like this once it's done. So let's actually go to the real thing. I have one. You set your own subdomain that's available, .cast.rocks, and you get this nice little thing. It's a, it's a nice little web page it makes for a podcast. It shows all the episodes and it has a nice little player built in here. Um, and people can play that. And yeah, and then also you can have an iTunes link. And yeah, it's a really nice little mini site. Um, so that's basic, the basics of Cast. Um, it's really nice. Um, I know this is kind of a simple demonstration, but I think it's cool. Um, I like Cast. It is a really nice tool. And oh, look, I'm still here. It just I'm not recording right now. Um, it's great, if, especially if you're recording a podcast with multiple people. If, if you have the money to spend on it, um, definitely consider it, because I think it's a really great option. I mean, you get a lot of stuff for $10 a month. You get the nice recording thing that works in your browser. 
um, easy editing built in, or you can download the audio track separately. You get to have it hosted for you with your own RSS feed. You don't have to worry about setting it up. Um, it's really easy to get on iTunes and Google Play. You just you just give iTunes or Google Play when you're submitting the podcast to them the RSS link, and it gives you the um, the link to the feed in the publisher right here, RSS URL. So yeah, it's really easy to share and create your podcast with Cast, and that's amazing. So if you've been wanting to make a podcast for whatever, and um, you just haven't figured out a good solution, maybe you have a Chromebook or something or a cheap laptop, and you really don't want to deal with Skype and stuff like that, um, and you don't want to deal with you know bad robot roboting audio that comes if you just record your desktop to record other people, and you'd rather record uh, separately, that's a cool way to do this. Because um, what it's doing, it's actually recording each person individually and then combining that. Uh, or I, I guess not combining it. You can combine it or you can mix it, but it's creating separate tracks. So you're not just recording your desktop, right? It's recording them locally and then uploading that, which means their audio is going to be just as high quality as yours or as high quality as it can be on their computer, and then it's going to be uploaded. It's not going to be... Um, you're not just recording your desktop audio. So say their internet lags out and they sound a little roboty. that's not going to come through in the recording because it's not recording your desktop audio. It's recording them on their end. So once that's uploaded, it'll sound just fine. Um, so it's really a great solution. Sorry about that. I left Discord on. Um, it's really a great solution if you want to do something like that. Make a podcast. Um, that's cast. Um, check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And let me know what you think of it um, and what you thought of this video. Um, hope you found it informative and good luck on uh, making your podcast uh, with Cast or whatever you choose to do. But this is a great option to consider, I think. Um, so yeah, that's Cast and that's been this tutorial. Thanks.